Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Peter Uluwach. Today's topic is this, the best stocks to buy. How do you identify the best stocks to buy? I'm doing this video courtesy of uh, some questions I get on uh, my Telegram channel. I have a Telegram channel where I talk to people about the stock market. I tell them to save, invest and grow wealth. Many people ask me, how do I know the best stock to buy? Well, I'm a stock market researcher and doing research is my work. So I decided to do research. Research basically is trying to get the best of the best minds and what is their take on some of these investment questions we struggle with. One of those people I'm going to talk about is called Marshall Lobb. Marshall Lobb wrote a book. The subject is called Money or the Money Guide. And Marshall Lobb gives a guide on how to know the best stocks to buy. According to Marshall Lobb, one of the things you need to do is pick a company that has 30% market share. 30% market share. How do you know the market share? Let's compare Safaricom and Airtel. Safaricom has at now, it has almost 70% market share. So you choose the dominant player. So if you go to telecommunications, Safaricom is the dominant player. So it's a company you would buy. If you go to the banks, we have uh, KCB, Quitty, and NCBA. We have almost 44 banks. There are some banks you will never hear about, like Consolidated Bank, like uh, Jairo Bank. There are some banks that are nearly dead. So if these banks are listed in the Nairobi Securities Exchange, for example, they are the banks to avoid. Of course, one of them was recently taken over by KCB. Now, we had National Bank with a very little market share. It was taken over by KCB to help KCB also boost its uh, market share. So if you take KCB, for example, and take equity, those two dominant banks, each of them have a 30, over 30% 30 market share. And of course, NCBA is also big because NCBA, courtesy of M-Pesa, M-Pesa is, is, is almost the number one bank. So NCBA, those are good stocks to buy. Mm -hmm. If you go to the energy sector or petroleum sector, we have to tell. We used to have Kennel, but Kennel closed, or rather, it didn't close, but uh, the shares were removed, delisted from the NSC. They had some uh, insider trading issues and things were not very good for them, so they were removed or delisted from the securities exchange. When you go to insurance, we have Jubilee Insurance, we have Britam, we have CIC. So again, which one has a bigger market share? That is the stock you need to buy. So Marshall Lobb gives a number of tips on how to choose one of the best stocks. One of them is a company with a big market share. Okay, this is what he says. Look to see, if you are look, choosing a company, look to see if responsible analysts say the company's product has the potential of capturing 20% share of the market. That should, that itself would grow very large within a decade. For favor concerns that have 20 to 30 percent annual growth in both sales and earnings over the past several years, and that are that are plowing 10 to 20 percent annual re revenues into research and development. That statement is very loaded. One, he says that you should buy companies that have 20 or 30 percent market share. Two, he's saying that you should have companies with annual growth return of about 20 to 30 percent. How will you know the company growing by 20 to 30%? Again, you will need to consider the balance sheet, the annual report, the cash flows. 
last year KCB grew by how many percent? Their profit after tax was how much? So over this last one year, most banks have done well. KCB grew by over 50 percent profit. Equity also the same, profit grew. NCBA also the same, profit grew. Cop Bank also the same. Most of these banks, they recorded very good profits. Take Safaricom, for example. Again, profit grew. Profit went up. Bamburi, also, also, also the same. So if you take a look at the companies in the Nairobi Securities All Share Index, then you will find that a number of them are recording good profits. Those ones which are recording losses or the profit is not more than 10, 20 to 30% according to martial law, don't touch them. So one, you need to look at growth. Two, you need to look at the market share. Three, he says that you need to look at companies that are investing in research and development. This is very important. Companies that are developing in research and development. But again, this book is for Americans. So American companies, they, they do a lot of research and development. For Kenyans, I don't know if these guys do research and development. But hey, guys, the corporates, I want to challenge you to start supporting research and development. We have very sharp professors at the University of Nairobi and many other universities. Please engage them in research and development. They will help you grow your products, they will help you grow your bottom line and help you grow your revenue. The other thing he says is work with companies that adopt technology. In the banking sector, again, we have, some, we have uh, ABSA. They are developing, they are uh, integrating WhatsApp banking. That's a good use of technology. A very good use of technology. So if you want to consider bank to buy, again, Abisa remains a good bank to buy. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. If you are new to this channel, subscribe. If you are new here, I would like you to join our Telegram channel. That's where we talk about the stock market 24-7. Thank you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If there is another company you like and you want me to do analysis for you, please drop your comments. I will help you analyze all stocks, all companies on this channel. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.